What was your biggest takeaway from that Cowboys uh, Patriots game yesterday, Rex? Dallas is pretty dang good, man. I mean, they look. Th this game is close only because they turned the ball over twice in a red zone. And but look, they had was five. that really a fumble? Was that a fumble? The dive was that really a fumble? Well, it is in New England. Yeah. But if you get <laughs> uh, Keith, this is five hundred and sixty-seven yards of offense for Dallas. Yeah, that's the most a Bill Belichick coach defense has ever given up, and I'm including him being a head coach or a D coordinator. All right, mm. 567 yards. That's hard to do against a Bill Belichick team. It's never happened, and that's how good this offense is. And by the way, Amari Cooper's not even healthy yet. Oof. Wait till he gets another week. You know, two more weeks, he'll get healthy. Gallup ever comes back. Like, I'm telling you, this team is – I don't want to say it. I don't believe in him either, but I have to. Like – my eyes are telling me this is really this is a really good football team. They got a difference maker on the defensive side now too, who can get you turn you know who can get you extra possessions. Yeah, they have a couple of them, and you're right. But that that Diggs has been amazing. It's almost like when it, when are people and I, I I get it. They gave up the deep post for a touchdown at the end. They, look, that but, was a blown coverage though, huh? Well, it it just it was played poorly by yeah. both Diggs yeah. who undercut it, missed yeah. the interception, and, the safety. and then the safety. I'm like, yeah, what are you he doing? Had to cut that dude in half. Yeah, like what are you doing? Well, I think he closed his eyes. Yeah, I, you, well, that looked like a close your eye moment, right? I mean, because yeah. he went right, like he went right past him, touch him. It's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> you like, have to have closed your eyes. Like, and, and you know what's funny? All of us who have played, it's like, you know, does that really happen? Yeah, it really happens. It, it happens. Close, like, they close their eyes. Oh, I'm going to hit him. <laughs> oh, Rex, no. Like, Rex, Rex, you know how my brain works. So after after the game, I'm listening to Dak Prescott on the podium, and he's talking about Kellen Moore drawing up the play and oh, giving him his love, good. right? I'm like, all right, you know, another Kellen Moore reference. And in the back of my mind, I got Rex sound in my head saying, Kellen Moore, he's giving me that position one day. What do you even think about end of game, just some of the, the breakdowns from McCarthy from a management perspective? Once again, I feel like every weekend we're on this, but it's the gift that keeps on giving. Nobody can't get right. It's like, so it's, it's one of those things right now to where, oh, my gosh, it's like he doesn't, you know, he's like, yeah, I'll just show up and all that. And then here it happens again and again. And he knows better, but yet, like, the, 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 when you call a timeout, when you don't, all that stuff. It, it's 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 past them, and and I know Keith. Look, I've been called crazy several times in my life. Like that dude's crazy, but and I know Keith thinks I'm I'm crazy uh, when I say that I could see that eventually they can move on, and it's like how I, he may win Coach of the Year, guys. Yeah, and they'd move on at the same and year. Move on because look, no way do you want Kellen Moore leaving your building. Well, you just pay him more money though. They already did it once, right? They he, did you it with were trying the... to go cheap on me to get me to be decorned for two million. I'm like, no, <laughs> but I don't have, have Jerry's pay money so though. So much money that it's but think be about ridiculous. it though. But think about it though, Rex. They upped the ante when he was going to go to Boise State. Right. And take a look at that as a head coach job. So they said we got something for you. And go back to the Jason Garrett situation when Wade Phillips was there. He was the highest. He was making three million dollars a year as a coordinator right. Right. because they didn't want to lose him as a head coach. So my only thing is. If I'm happy with Mike McCarthy and they go and run the table and win a championship or get close to winning a championship, you just say, hey, I'll give you whatever it takes to keep you as an OC into such due time that I'm willing to part ways from Mike well, McCarthy. And that, that certainly could happen. But this is the same guy that let Jimmy Johnson go yeah. after winning the Super Bowl. And it's like, I don't care who the head coach is. I'm going to bring in Barry Switzer. Mm -hmm. All right? And he won two Super Bowls. So, look, Jerry will do things his way, but – no way, like, if, if Kellen Moore sits back and says, no, I want to be a head coach, I still think Jerry may just say, you're my head coach. Like, this so it'll, it'll, it'll that, that, that could be a tough dilemma. Switzer won one with Jimmy Johnson's players. Okay, Jimmy yeah. Johnson had won two, then Barry Switzer won one. But didn't, didn't the Jimmy Johnson situation have a lot to do with Jimmy Johnson getting a lot of credit and attention and his ego and Jerry – kind of didn't want that and I think Mike McCarthy was brought in precisely because he's not going to give you a Jimmy Johnson because Jerry will get the credit you know right. doesn't that play into this maybe so but look Jerry was smart enough to hire Kellen Moore boy wonder as his offense coordinator right when I saw him I'm like look at that little punk man oh that guy can coach like that dude can coach so I got to give him credit he made he might not look the part but that dude can coach can, can they win the Super Bowl with Mike McCarthy, though, as a head coach? Look, I'd, I'd like to say no because 
you know, I, I just think you got to have a heck of a lot better clock management and decisions. You know, I just I, I don't believe you can. Why, why did why yesterday in the Chargers game, Brandon Staley went for it, backed up on his own 19 yard line. Why defensive coaches really always do, do stuff like that? No, my butt. I I never did that. Look, this dude right here, he you makes say two ass. things. <laughs> he makes two things. My butt. Thank you, my ass. He, <laughs> I, they go for it twice, backed up inside. And you know who was waiting for it? Baltimore. Baltimore's like, oh, I hope this. I hope this guy goes for it, backed up. And what happened? They did twice. And, and they put their best player in position. Say, all right, go ahead and, and pitch it over there where where uh, Marlon Humphrey is. Go for it. It's fourth down. Go for it. And they did twice. Marlon Humphrey won both of them, and now you're giving up points right there in the game. It's game, set, match. And and it's, to me, like, there's so many, like, weird decisions. Like, wh since when is it okay to go for it in your own territory? Like, and that's – but we're saying how brilliant the guy was. This guy, oh, my God, is brilliant. Yeah, because it worked against Cleveland. Yeah, it worked against Because Cleveland. they're playing off coverage yeah. and when they got no business playing right, off but coverage. Coach, let me ask you something. But – on the one hand, I understand what you're saying, and it's highly unusual, and there's a huge downside to that to the risk. On the other hand, you're talking about they were waiting for it, right? Absolutely. So are you claiming that, period, you never do that? Or are you claiming that when you see how the defense is preparing, you got to adjust? Yeah, it's a different situation when it get, it's game on the line. I get that. That's when you go for it. Okay, we all remember the time when Belichick went for it against the Colts on a fourth yeah. in a fourth oh, quarter. Yeah. And yeah. remember, but he didn't he trust the oh, defense he's short of it. But that's exactly yeah. why yeah. this guy's doing it at at you know second quarter, third quarter. It's not game on the line. We we saw we saw a mistake by McCarthy mentioning him. He goes for it fourth and one. You have a rookie quarterback you're facing on the other side. The hardest points to get in a game are your first points, and you're going to gift them. You get stopped right there, you gift the team points. 